Hi fellow reptile fans! So after posting my first video the other day, I thought I would do a video on the heating element and the type of light you're going to need for your hawk nose enclosure. So this video is going to cover everything you're going to need to keep your hog nose alive and more importantly keep them healthy. So what you're going to need, you're going to need your aquarium first and foremost. You're going to need a digital thermometer right here, which we can point at and it can test to see how hot an area is. You can also use these, which I got off Amazon. These are really cool. What this does is it displays the humidity and the temperature in the air. Since hog noses genuinely live in the um, central United States, there's Easterns, there's Westerns, but they go all the way up from Canada all the way down into Texas, I believe. I'll insert a map here. So they don't require a high humidity. So I think you're better off just going with one of these, a temperature gun. I got this on Amazon, I think for about like $18. I've had it since I've had my ball python and it's worked great. The next thing you're gonna need is a dome lamp. I went with the Thrive 5.5 inch dome lamp. And then last but not least, you are going to need your light bulb. I'm using a 50 watt. In my original video, I had a 100 watt bulb and it got too hot. And I'll show you what will happen if you use a bulb that's way too hot. And that is why this guy is very, very important. So we will cover all of that today. As many of you know, reptiles regulate their heat by the temperature in their environment. So your tank should have a warm side and a cool side. So you can do an under tank heater or you can do a dome lamp on top. I chose to do a dome lamp and we will walk through the process of how to set up the dome lamp. So this is the dome lamp I got. I got this at PetSmart and fun fact, PetSmart will always match their online prices, which are usually a little bit cheaper. The biggest thing you wanna look at when you're looking at a dome lamp is the wattage and the highest wattage that that lamp can hold. This can hold a 100 watt bulb or a tank a heat emitter, which doesn't emit light, it just emits heat. It's just a black bulb essentially, there's no light that comes out of it. And the lamp looks like this. The next thing you're gonna need is a basking spot lamp. And for a hog nose in a 10 gallon tank, I would recommend doing a 50 watt. I originally had a 100 watt in here and it got super hot inside of the tank. Um, so I would start with a 50 watt and a 10 gallon and make sure you're taking the temperature. And I'll show you what that looks like in one second. I rest my lamp right on top of my tank. The only danger in doing this is if your tank is in an area where it's gonna get knocked, this can move around and this part gets very, very, very hot. I'll show you how hot it was when it had the 100 watt bulb in it and I'm gonna take the temperature of it now and show you the temperature of what it is with the uh, 50 watt bulb, 113 degrees. And when you are heating a tank, you wanna leave the lamp on for a few hours so it gets up to temperature. If you turn the lamp on and you immediately test the hot spot right there, it's not going to be its true heat. You want to make sure the lamp is on. You want to make sure it's been on long enough so it emits heat down to where it needs to. Now something about these guys right here, they get very, very, very hot. So hot that you almost can't touch them. And I'll show you the temperature of this one right now. If I shine this on it showing 131 degrees. That is insane. When you touch that, it's literally gonna almost burn your hand. You can touch it for a second and you immediately wanna pull back. So you don't wanna be touching that. You also don't want this anywhere where it could start a fire. You always wanna make sure it's centered on top of the tank right here. And they actually even make clamps where you can hang the light. So it doesn't rest on this, it rests a few inches above it. I haven't had any problems with this, but this is a fire hazard with how hot it gets. So keep in mind that lamp is gonna get over 125 degrees. So I'm gonna take the temperature using a 100 watt bulb with my temperature gun, point it right on the rock and it's reading 106.9 degrees. This will kill your snake. 
This is why having the right bulb is so important. And this is also why testing the tank before you put your snake in is also important. You get your animal, you wanna make sure your lighting is set up and your heat element is to the right temperature. I get my hog nose tomorrow and I'll definitely do an unboxing video because he's a snow and he looks super cool. But you wanna make sure your light is working or your under tank heater is working and you wanna make sure that you're checking the temperature. Have your light on for a couple of hours and check it a couple of hours into the light being on. Don't just get your hog nose and throw it in the tank and turn the light on without knowing the proper temperature. Proper temperature is everything. Hog noses genuinely need anywhere from, I would say, anywhere from 85 to 95 degrees, give or take, on the warm side. The cool side can be a little bit cooler because, as I stated earlier, these animals live all the way up to Canada, so that is okay. Um, but what we're going to do right now, we're going to take the lid off and we're going to use my heat gun to do the temperature on the top of the rock, which will be his basking spot. He has an option to bask in the open. And that is also a little cave, so the cave is going to hold some warmth as well, so you can bask in the cave. So let's see what we're setting at temperature-wise. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to take my temperature gun right here, and I am going to point it directly on the rock to see how hot his hot spot is. So I'm going to point the gun right here, right onto the rock, and it's going to give me the exact temperature, 95 degrees, exactly what I want. And I sometimes try it twice, just because this heat gun has been finicky in the past. As you can see, it says 99. So I'm guessing it's a few degrees off, but um, the lower end is probably more accurate. But the temp gun's a great thing to have because you can always test it regularly. I don't intend to use a night basking bulb. And the reason for that is I live in Illinois. The temperature of my house is 70 degrees all the time. And some might argue that's a little cold for a hog nose, but if a hog nose can survive outside in 70 degree weather, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to survive the 10 or 12 hours his light is off. His light will only be on when the sun is up. And I've heard these guys are very, very active, so I'm excited to see him during the day. I get to work from home, so I'll be able to spend a lot of time with him. So once again, for proper heating, you're gonna need a dome lamp. You're going to need a 50 watt bulb if you're putting him in or her in a 10 gallon tank. And you're also gonna need a temperature gun. Temperature guns are really cheap. You can get them for about 20 bucks on Amazon. Guys, I'm sorry, but I just love my tank. I think it's so beautiful. My hog nose is gonna have plenty of places to hide, plenty of places to burrow, plenty of places to just be a snake inside of this tiny 10 gallon. I don't expect him to be very big. As I said, he's a baby snow. So we'll see him in the unboxing video. And guys, I'm just gonna leave you with some more photos of my tank. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to meet fellow snake hobbyists, uh, especially hog noses. If you have a hog nose, put it down in the description. Tell me all about it. You can find me on Instagram. I will put my link there. And I also have a TikTok, which I rarely use. But um, find me on Instagram. I love chatting with people about things I enjoy. And check back in the next few days because I will have an unboxing video of my baby hog nose, which I can't wait to see.